Hi, I am Shobhik Dhara. Uh, so, I joined as an assistant professor. My PhD was from Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands. So, uh, interestingly, my PhD was part of a multi institutional program in the Netherlands uh, where people from computer science, uh, statistics, uh, mathematics, and operation research came together and, and collaborated on a joint platform. So, during my PhD, I got exposed to diverse problems related to network science, specifically large-scale networks. And after that, I moved to US, first as a SRAM postdoc at Microsoft Research and MIT Mathematics. And just before joining here, I spent one wonderful semester at the Simons Institute and another semester at Brown University Division of Applied Math. Analyzing networks with unprecedented size and complexity has become one of the primary challenges in modern science and technology today. If we go back like 20 years ago, uh, large networks would mean networks with a few thousand uh, nodes and edges, and they will really seem dwarf in front of what we see in modern systems. For example, the digital universe has billions of nodes. Uh, COVID wreaked havoc in our life by spreading on a global population of 8 billion people. Human brain is a sprawling network of billions of neurons and trillions of synapses connecting each other. And these massive networks have really shattered the foundations of algorithmic and inference tools on network data. So the field of network science emerged uh, around 20 years ago specifically to deal with challenges associated with large-scale systems. Over the past 20 years or so, a steady experimental uh, literature have been developing, but uh, uh, foundational understanding in this field is the need of the modern era. Because if we are looking at these systems, even a minuscule of mistake can lead to catastrophic impact and we cannot just rely on heuristics, right? So my research is in this foundations of network science and my background is in probability. And with this core background, I study questions from machine learning, operation research, statistics, statistical physics. For example, uh, I study algorithms for unsupervised learning tasks, such as finding densely connected communities in a network. I am also interested in studying processes like spread of epidemic or spread of misinformation on network, where we often know how these processes spread locally, and we want to infer about some global phenomena, like when will a lot of people get infected. So I like music, in particular Indian classical music. Uh, one of the perks of the pandemic in my life was I started learning uh, Indian classical music formally with my wife. My wife is learning vocal uh, music, and I am learning to play an instrument called sarod. And over the last two or three years, music has been always a refreshing point of discussion for us. I play music when I have time, and I got a pet <laughs> one week ago. A pet? Yeah, really? uh, a pet Labrador. Uh, she's just two and a half months old. She's really cute, but she's keeping me busy. <laughs> so even before coming for an interview here, I, of course, knew Purdue IE is a top department and there are many eminent faculties in applied probability and operation research specifically whom I knew of. But after coming here, I realized that Purdue I is, is a fantastic place to be in because there are so many exciting things going on here. And there are uh, collaborative platforms in machine learning, operation research, and there are many faculties who are working with systems where uh, I felt that my background from network science can provide valuable insight. Uh, and at the same time, I also realized that uh, uh, I can play a unique role in this department because my background is in foundational techniques. So I was super excited when I got a chance uh, to be here, when I received the offer letter, and I'm happy to be here.